So hi everyone. So we are again in the Feldem self-sufficient village in Germany, um, and we are with Doreen Reichman, who is in charge of the uh, visitor center of the Feldem self-sufficient village. So hi, Doreen. Yes. Hi. <laughs> so can you first present us a little bit? Uh, what is the visitor center? Um, in our visitor center, we give uh, a lot of information about the self-sufficient uh, village of Feldheim. Um, the um, important thing here is uh, that we have um, energy and heat from renewable energies. Um, the energy comes from our wind farm and okay. um, we have uh, heat from our biogas plant. Um, we have uh, our own grid okay. um, to bring the energy in all households, uh, households uh, here in Feldheim um, okay. for heating and um, for for energy, and mm, that's why we have mm. a lot of visitors here uh, in Feldheim right. who are interested in um, the way um, to think of uh, to think the possibility uh, to use mm. only renewable energies. Um, yes, for all you need uh, for heat and for energy okay. consumption. And how many visitors do you have uh, by uh, each year? Yes, like we uh, have uh, three thousand visitors mm. per year. And uh, why, why do, uh, do they come to uh, the visitor center and here in Feldem to know more about renewable energy or to build the same thing in their place? Or um, or, we or have all these things? different uh, kind of visitors uh, from all over the world and okay. also uh, politicians uh, from Germany. Um, also from Japan, we had uh, Miss Abe here in Feldheim. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the woman from the um, minister president. Mm -hmm. um, from Japan, okay. um, yes, and so we have um, politicians from our, our communities um, who like um, to hear about us, um, how uh, it can work, that mm. we have uh, our, own, our own grid and um, how can it uh, get um, to use the energy from mm. the wind farm um, for mm. all households. Um, mm. Yes, and um, yeah. they like to hear something from us uh, and from um, uh, our Feldheimers, um, how we live here mm. with the renewable energy. Yes, and there are mm. also a lot of students who come to uh, to learn about renewable energy, but because uh, as we as we see in your in your visitor centers, there are a lot of things to learn about, like uh, battery, your the battery you use, the storage. Yes, the um, we have uh, a, a very interesting range of mm. renewable energies uh, we use uh, in Feldheim. We have uh, a solar plant uh, near of Feldheim. Yeah. Uh, we have a biogas plant for um, the heating mm. um, grid. Um, we have a uh, um, wood mm. ship uh, heating plant. Um, if we have colder days in mm. winter, um, that comes uh, to the biogas plant and gives uh, enough um, heat for our heating grid here. Mm, yeah. Um, <laughs> so you can learn about many different uh, yes. types of renewable energy in the same place. Yes, we have the wind farm and uh, a new um, very interesting project is um, the um, battery storage. Yeah. Um, yes, um, who can give you uh, 10 megawatt uh, of energy uh, mm. can put out the grid in it and uh, put it into mm. the grid uh, back um, if we need more energy mm. in the grid. Yeah, which mm. is one of the biggest storage, in, uh, uh, almost the biggest storage in the Europe. Uh, yes, of, uh, 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 now it's uh, the biggest storage in Europe. Yes. yes. Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So thank you very much, Doreen, yeah. for <laughs> your time on this very, very interesting subject. And see you soon thank for you. your interview of the Five Project. Bye. <laughs> Bye.